welcome back to the Whiten Centre's Creativity Connects channel. It's Friday, which is uh, day five of Mental Health Awareness Week, which is run by the Mental Health Foundation. So today we have already put out a video from our amazing volunteer, Michael, who is reading through um, a text, The Road to Resilience. Um, so if you want to check those out, you should see the videos previously in the channel. But also we've got a video from um, Bob, who is our Tai Chi instructor at the centre. So he's put out his third, which is a Shibashi set two um, and I think people have been saying it's been really relaxed in the first couple so um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I've also just got a couple of words here that Bob has sent me over about how Tai Chi kind of relates to mental health so I'm just gonna read those to you now. Um, tai Chi which can be practiced at home is performed with slow continuous flowing movements as well as improving mental health. The practice of Tai Chi helps improve breathing, posture, circulation, balance, flexibility, mobility, muscle tone and strength. Regular exercise in the form of Tai Chi is a great way for people experiencing uh, poor mental health to stay positive and focused and it's been associated with reduced mental stress, anxiety, depression and enhanced mood in both healthy people and people with chronic conditions. So for people trying to cope in these difficult times of uncertainty, it would be worthwhile giving Tai Chi a try on a daily basis or as regularly as possible to create a new habit of maintaining mental and physical health and to keep motivated. So that's a wee message there from Bob and now he's going to go through a Tai Chi practice with you. So I hope you enjoy it and um, that you're keeping yourself safe and you're keeping yourself well during this time and I will see you very soon. Thank you. 
thanks so much for that, Bob. That was really great, as usual. So remember, you guys at home, if you would like to see any other videos from staff and volunteers, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get any updates on that. And also send us a wee email or give us a call if you've got any ideas or suggestions to put on that as well. So um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you all soon. And um, keep yourself well. Bye-bye.